Hey folks, Dino here again. This time, take a look at uh, one of two uh, headsets that I have been actually eagerly anticipating. Um, this is KW003 from KW Studios. Um, they've also done KW004, which is Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku. Um, this one, of course, is Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2, um, with bonus hip and tail accessory. Which, I'll be completely honest with you right now, was most of the reason for buying this set. <laughs> um, originally I had no intention of displaying him with the Super Saiyan head, but actually seeing it in hand, I I really quite like it. Um, I know, I know the tail accessory, like paying 30 quid for one little accessory, is a bit extreme. But hey, I was future-proofing. Future with a uh, extra heads, <laughs> um, but yeah, unfortunately, I am kind of annoyed with this set, um, and it's got to do with the tail, um, which I'll get into once we actually get to that part of the review. But yeah, um, link in the description below if you do wish to purchase this or KW004. Um, they are both there. They should both be in the same listing so you can choose whichever one you want. Um, but yeah, KW Studios, for those of you who don't know, is, I don't want to say new, they just haven't made that much in terms of third party content. Um, the KW003 and 4 should be an indicator, and um, they've only done two before, uh, as far as I'm aware, which would the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Base Form Gotenks, which I didn't get because, to be honest, the faces looked off to me, um, plus by that time I no longer had the Gotenks because the figure arts Gotenks is a very disproportionate, um, <laughs> it's not very good. So yeah, um, without further ado, I would get into the box, but to be completely honest with you, it's literally just the logo on the front and a warning label on the back, so no point looking at that. Um, let's just get straight into the accessories, shall we? So yeah, um, in terms of what you get in the box itself, um, both sets have got a decent array of accessories. Um, the Super Saiyan version, I think he's overcompensated. Um, in terms of accessories, because obviously he's not using as much plastic for the two heads. Um, I mean, to be compl completely honest with you, the the fact that he's gone over and above with both uh, Super Saiyan styles, um, when he could have quite easily just given us extra bangs for the Super Saiyan head, is, yeah, it's really good. I do really appreciate that. Um, we shall look at the faces first, and then we'll move on to the heads and the tail last, um, because I have some issues with that. Um, anyway, <laughs> in terms of heads, um, they have been remoulded from the like official versions. Um, let's get the contrast down a little. All this bright colours and yellow is messing with the camera. So yeah, they have been remoulded from the official figure. Um, which is good. The official figure has really good faces. I really like them. Um, but yeah, they they do look really good. The only downside I have with it is, for whatever reason, both stern faces on the KW003 and 4, they're both looking off to the side for some reason. Um, I, I'm never a fan of like looking off to the side faces unless we get the option of both um so yeah a little bit of a shame but i mean you, you can see here the, the attention he's given to these are really good um you've even got sort of bigger pupils um to like get across the fact that he is a child again and um, because of course this is GT Goku, he's been turned into a kid by Super Shenron. Is it Super Shenron? Or is it Ultimate Shenron? 
or Black Star Shenron. I, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been that long since I watched GT. Um, I love the designs in GT, apart from Vegeta's hair somehow being cut. But apart from that, um, <laughs> I love the story, the, the designs of GT, but the story, while it's okay, you can tell they rushed it. Like the Black Star Dragon Ball saga lasted like half the length of the show and then all of a sudden they had to defend Earth three separate times in the space of like a week which is bonkers to me but yeah um Sten face does look good do really like that um the smirk face unfortunately is a little bit off and I think that's due to the mouth whether it's the like the molding itself or the the printing is misaligned. I am not entirely sure. It kind of looks like a mixture of both. Um, but he comes across really evil looking. Like, it's not a cocky smirk. It's like an evil smirk. <laughs> um, but yeah, but unfortunately, that one's a bit off. Um, the teeth gritted face looks really nice. Um, he didn't use black paint for like the middle of the teeth but I, it still looks decent to me it really does um the yelling face also looks really good i do have a, bit, a little bit of flashing on the bottom of mine though which is a bit annoying but other than that really well done and finally we have the Turning Uzaru, um, or Great Ape face. This one's got a bit of sprue on the top. That's actually really sharp. <laughs> um, but yeah, that looks really good. This is meant to go on either the standard head or the windswept head that you get with GT Goku. Um, in terms of the heads, we have the Super Saiyan one. Um, well, Super Saiyan 1 one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it looks really good. There's a nice sort of subtle gradient to the hair um, while also being that new sort of light blonde that um, Tamashi started using as well. So really like that. Um, these do come off just like so. Um, the two front bangs are not interchangeable. Um, for whatever reason you were curious about that. But yeah, that just doesn't work. And they fit in easy as that. Really nice. Really like that. Pop that in. Like so. Um, the one thing I will say about the Super Saiyan here is at certain angles it doesn't look like it's got a lot of volume to it. Like it's almost dead squished and thin. But from other angles it looks amazing. Um, I will compare this to... The Demon Ico Fit one, and um, when I get that, Demon Ico Fit, for those of you who don't know, is doing their Super Saiyan 4 Goku finally. And um, hopefully, the Zeno version comes soon after. And um, but apparently, because of the delay, they decided to package it with a Super Saiyan Kid Goku head, which is really good. And um, we will see if it looks any better than this one. Um, I know Erdokan and who else is it? Um, it's either TK DIY or one of the other ones. Maybe Recustom. Um, so obviously those ones look better, but they also tend to overprice their heads and their their custom accessories and stuff. So I don't tend to buy them. Um, they're a bit on the expensive side. But yeah, I suppose you get what you pay for. So far, I think the recustom one looks the best. Like, no questions asked whatsoever. Um, so yeah, you just pop this bit on like so. This one has a little bit of trouble popping in all the way. Um, but yeah, it's hardly noticeable, if at all. So yeah, really nice. I love the, the gradient going into like the light blonde tips at the very edge. Really like that. Um, some people were complaining about 
there being like a mold line along the the front bang which I mean you can kind of see but I think they were really over exaggerating how bad it was like <laughs> you can barely make that out from any sort of distance so yeah um finally we have this piece of crap <laughs> yeah so the entire reason of me buying this set as i said before was to get this um because i thought oh that's really cool that's a super saiyan version of the tail um i can display him with the tail in super saiyan and such and um, because of course the super 17 that's coming out um, is it Super 17? It's either Super 17 or GT Trunks. Um, it's coming with an official version of this, but obviously the tail's brown, not gold. Um, but yeah, um, I got this out of the package. Um, immediately popped it in to like, test the tolerances. Um, went to pop it back out, and the peg sheared off inside the, the hole. Um, yet that should not be happening on the first go. Um, that is horrendous quality control, KW. Like, I'm not sure if I can get some sort of refund on that sort of thing. Um, I will be looking into it because, yeah, that's just utterly disappointing. Um, so for the time being, I have had to unfortunately glue the tail onto the back, um, which means, unfortunately, um, for the spoilers, the Super Saiyan 3 version, which comes with the normal tail, I can't swap it in. Um, I am forever stuck with the Super Saiyan tail, um, if I want to do it. So yeah, um, just be very careful if you purchase this, folks. I'm um, just saying. So yeah, let's uh, try and pop on the hairs first, and then we'll pop on the, the tail section. So... There is a kind of a click, um, not too much, but then I would rather it not be overly tight on the ball joint. I would rather it be a little bit loose. Um, but yeah, once it's on, that looks amazing. Um, yeah, I may have to buy a second GT Kid Goku. <laughs> um, because, uh, spoilers, like, as much as I love this happy-go-lucky smiling face on the GT Kid Goku, I really don't like... The hair sculpt um to me it's floppy too much um goku's hair should be standing up more um but yeah if i do get a second gt kid goku one will be super saiyan one will be super saiyan 3 <laughs> it's just as simple as that um no base forms here and um, but yeah that looks really good skin tone is spot on there is no difference whatsoever um really like that i'm actually in love with that hair the, the more i look at it the more i like it <laughs> and that pops off really easy that's good and um, let's pop on super saiyan 2 again popped on easy enough and um, yeah it looks good i am honestly not as much of a fan of super saiyan 2 on the gt kid goku because he, i don't think he ever actually used it um, you only seen it briefly when it was powering up to Super Saiyan 3 um, with it. But it's nice. It's uh, good that it's here. It's more options. I do really appreciate that. Uh, so finally, instead of putting that on, let's uh, quickly bring in this head. Pop that off. And we'll see what this looks like on. Um, this is another thing that annoys me though is the fact that he packaged like this is obviously deliberate and um, he packaged the uzaru face with the super saiyan heads and the super saiyan tail um but to get the other part of this you need to buy the super saiyan 3 to get the normal tail um so yeah that's how that looks on there really nice it's really well done like honestly i can't fault him at all there so yeah um final part let's put on the tailpiece shall we um so you pop this off and um, goku's waist is designed to pop off really easily 
so there is no problems there. Um, obviously, I would recommend taking off this thicker back skirt piece at the very least. You can like decide which skirt piece you want to go with. So yeah, this is the official one. Just have to pop those off. The ball joint came off with mine. That's good. There we go. Um, wouldn't be one of my videos unless it was awkward. So yeah, let's pop that off. Um, so yeah, that came off really easily. Um, it's obvious that Tamashi designed Kid Goku with the ability to come apart. Um, obviously for the accessories that they were packaging with other figures. Um, yeah, that pops on really easily. There we go, just like that. And um, there is a slight difference in colour, um, if you can see there. Um, this one's very slightly darker orange, um, but it works just as well. There is like barely a noticeable difference to it. Um, so yeah, at the bare minimum, you need this windswept uh, waist piece on. Let's see if this will actually pop on properly. There we go. Um, technically, you're supposed to have it dangling down, but I do not like how that looks whatsoever. <laughs> so I will just stretch it over the tail, just like so. Um, yep, yeah, obviously. You can either go with the, the windswept look for the front, but you can also just stick on the standard front piece if you don't want it looking as wavy, which is exactly what I am going to do. So, there we go. Ooh, that's a bit of a tighter peg than the, the official one. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Nice. So yeah, just like that, we have a tail. Now, come on, shoulders, don't do that. I really don't like GT Kid Goku's shoulders. Um, you move them in the wrong way, and they just disappear into his torso. I really don't like that at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. That popped on nicely. And just like that, we have Super Saiyan Kid Goku with tail. Um, obviously, like I said before, even though I've had the issue with the tail on my copy, um, I think I'm the only one to actually have that issue so far. Like every other review I've seen, they've had zero issues swapping the tails about. Um, but it is a softer plastic, so QC issues are going to happen, I'm afraid. Um, just be incredibly careful with yours if you get it. But yeah, that is, that's amazing. Like, I, I may have to go with this instead of the Super Saiyan 3 until I get a second Kid Goku. <laughs> that is just, that's badass. It really is. So yeah, guys. Um, like I said before, link in the description if you want to purchase this or the Zero Four. 4. Um, I do recommend them at the end of the day um, even though I had an issue with mine it's obviously not like proper QC issue like it's a one-off for me but I will still be getting in touch with them to see what they can do to sort it so yeah guys um, let me know what you think down in the comments below and until next time I'll see y'all later